Hello. That's a new. <laughs> That's a new one, isn't it? It's a new way of starting. Podcast yeah. sixteen. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, would well, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna cut these down. Right down. Very speedy. Speedy podcast. Speed the podcast. This is what this is. All right. A lot of people haven't been commenting, but. We look at the analytics, and you fucks still aren't listening all the way through. No, we thought we cut it down for you. Yeah, so we're going to cut it in half. If that's not enough, I'm not going any lower. They can fuck off. It's ridiculous. How can you not... Right, all, the whole like ratio is positive as well. There's not been a single negative review on a single podcast yet, right? But you don't have the attention span to listen all the way through something you like. You don't know if they like it. That's that's. Well, of... the thumbs up is usually a good indicator, isn't it? Yeah. So, anyway, should we should we consult the jukebox? Let's get it over with because obviously, cut for time. Times are ticking. Yeah, Come times on. are ticking. All right, Deep Purple. Some of you may know that. Do you? Um, and if you do, I'm sorry. Hmm. Because it's poo. It's poo. poo. Their, their yeah. latest album. Um, Infinite. Yeah. No, it's actually Infinite because they put a capital in, F in, somewhere in the middle. Infinite. Yeah. Finite. So, uh, That's good, though. What is it that you didn't like about it, Ben? Please do How tell. How it was, it was trying to be different and alternative, but in the year 1983. I don't know why they were trying to do that. No, sorry. So it's sort of... Late seventies, mm. and they were doing all the um, electrifying sound, 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 talking with them. It's monotone voice to begin the song. That's over and done with. I was going to hit you then, but you stopped. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the, there was one song on the entire yeah, album. I liked. Bum, yeah, yeah. Twat Poo Fanny Ass was my favourite song. No, Roadhouse Blues are my favourite, which was the last song on the album. Why they have to put the best until last, I don't know. Just put the best first so I know the rest is shit. All right? Anything more you got to say on this album? I got to fuck off. Yeah, well, what's my, where's my notes? Where's your notes? That's a good question. It probably helps. You start a podcast with your notes. And your I'll heroine. keep you occupied with song. La, 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 la. There we go. So, Deep Purple. Hi, poo. Bye. That's what I got from this mainly. Ah, yeah, I do have a story from uh, from Deep Purple. They had a manager. You want me to move in a bit closer? You're talking. They have, a, the they have a manager, whom they didn't like. <laughs> right. Right. And they were on tour. Yeah. And um, the lead singer went to this length to get him off away from them. Um. They got him really drunk one night, the manager. Yep. Got, uh, hired a car. Hmm. Got him naked, put him in the car. Right? Yep. Put him on a ferry to Iceland and took the keys and his clothes and his passport. Why have I heard that story before? I, I might have told you it before. But yeah, they went... Th that's the type of stories that they, uh, you know, they have. So the... They've clearly got the, you know, it's all there. Stories. They've got the attitude, yeah, the right the one attitude. for rock and roll. How about that, though? For, 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 you know, putting someone, trying to get someone away from you. Yeah, I mean, they've gone from, was it smoke on the water to, mm -hmm. to this. And I've put, the two notes that I've got, it's shit, really. And have they forgotten how to rock? That's what I've put. They've gone from... One of the most iconic. Well, they haven't gone straight from Smoke on the Water to this. No, it's been a steady been, decay. Yeah, I, I'm, I don't, I can, I can't speak for their like a their slowly albums. onsetting gangrene. I can't, I can't speak for their albums before this, but I'm pretty sure to get to this, you must have been on the decline for a long time. It's desperate now. They're desperate. They, they desperately want, you know, some traction, don't they? Clearly, it's not like the Rolling Stones that are still good now. They're well, still because they stuck brilliant. to what they're good at. Yeah, but the. the People need to understand, you get nowhere flip-flopping. Nowhere whatsoever. People do not care for flip-flopping. Quality doesn't flip-flop. Quality is a consistent thing. It doesn't degrade. If, if, if Deep Purple stuck to what they were good at, hmm. 
Who knows? This could have been a wonderful little album. Could have been. But, but it instead, wasn't. it's uh, it is another. I'm gonna say it. It's another Urban Outfitters soundtrack. To some extent. See, that's depressing. They go. How do you go from Smoke on the Water to that? What goes through your mind? It must be. It must be something terrible. Because if you look at Motorhead up until when, up until when Lemmy died, they were the same all throughout their entire career. They didn't change for anyone because they didn't care for pleasing anyone but people who appreciated them. Yeah. And he's, Lemmy's still got a Lifetime Achievement Award in music, so anyway, should we? I'm going to turn the page now really close to the microphone. You ready? And we're going to going to move on. You ready? You looking forward to this? Excited. Ready? What else have you got planned then? I want to talk about the big shot. Oh. Whilst we're talking about the... Uh, destruction of a, an industry the big shot I'll give you a summary just um just to put it down barely any notes on this one because i decided on this last minute that's all right it's all right i've watched it three times i'll have i've got enough have you yeah have you watched it once really good film but anyway here's a summary from netflix a group of wily opportunists make a fortune off of the u.s economic crash by sniffing out the situation in advance and betting on the banks hi man Betting, meaning uh, when you bet yeah, against something. Yeah, I don't understand. Something. I'm not going to ask you to explain it. Explain I'll watch it again. The the, the 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 whole betting against the banks. I don't. Do you want me to sum up? No, 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 no. Don't. It's. I don't want you to. Just you leave sure? it how it is. I'll watch it again. All right. But I was sort of going through the film, just wandering through it because I was like, I I didn't really understand. Mm. I understood was to some extent. S- that Selena it was... Gomez and Margot Robbie in a bathtub. Not good enough to explain. The terminology. Oh. See, I wasn't focused on what they were talking about. Oh. Come on. Yeah, that's true. All right. It's really a film that you get the second time around. But just to clarify, The Big Short isn't about a fat dwarf. It is, in fact, about what I just told you about. And short is a term, a, f- a finance term, mm. which means to bet against. Um, to, you know, it, yeah, to bet with a negative outcome, basically. So what they did is the big shot was they threw shit tons of money at this on, on the bet that the housing bubble would crash, it would pop and everything would go to shit. And they bet on that happening, but it didn't happen for years. And people thought, no, it's not going to happen. It's just secure. It's just secure. And then you get to see what happens when the housing bubble does burst. I mean, it's you, a brilliant film. Well, of course you know what happens because you you lived it. You may not realize that. The people involved in this film affected your lives more than any politician. No, all over the world. Really? Yeah, because the way that the finance structure works, so you've got all of the world superpowers, right? Um, So you've got America, China, you've got uh, the UK. So because of global marketing, right, our markets rely on each other. One goes down, they all go down. If that makes sense. Well, China was all right because it had its own industry of counterfeiting going on. Well, banking, isn't it? Well, yeah. banking, <clears throat> an economy overall. That that hot, and all of Europe and things like that. It's it's part of the reason why Spain and Germany, and not Germany, Greece are all financially in the in the ground because of Germany? that. No, I didn't. I didn't mean Germany. I meant Greece. Oh, um, Spain and Greece. Um, um, I like the end where they said. Um, they won't blame the bankers. They won't blame the politicians. They won't blame anyone who's at fault. Yeah. They'll blame immigrants, criminals. Oh, yeah. No, they'll they'll blame um, immigrants and poor people. Yeah. Yeah. That's not. It's not really much of a spoiler because you you've got to see what goes goes on in between, and you do have to pay attention. I love so the all way of you people. Hold on, I'm just going to address all of you fucking people. I like to text and look at your Snapchat stories when watching a film. Cut it out. Turn it off. Lock it in a cupboard downstairs. Watch the bloody film for crying out loud. When you're listening to this, listen to the podcast for fuck's sake. For something more than just a Snapchat well, story in YouTube. length. All um, right. Thanks to YouTube, they will probably if they're watching on their phones, they won't be able to uh, come off of it. Oh, that's true. Other, yeah, you, you either get one or the other. So, is it really worth? Checking in on your superficial buddies on their Snapchat and Instagram stories, or would you rather listen to something and learn a little bit? 
What I would you rather do? I feel this is directed at someone. <laughs> this is directed at just about everyone my age. I've got such yeah. a hatred um, for love, people my age. I love the way the film's cut. So take Ryan's advice and watch it. It's, watch it's, it. It's, it's a film brilliant. made as a film. Not and Ryan Gosling's in it. So is Christian Bale. Yeah. And so Steve Carell. Yeah. Steve Carell isn't quite like he was in, uh, what was it, Bruce Almighty? You know, he won't be going... <laughs> he you know what, yeah, but that made his career pretty much. Thought we yeah. were Virgin, all those fucking films. What was the other one? Evan Almighty. Yeah, that's... That was that, fucking awful. That. You forget about that. Yeah, don't worry about that. That was that kept the lights on. It's all right, Steve, we don't yeah, blame did. you. I'm sure it still keeps the lights on. Yeah. Because we don't blame you, Steve. We don't blame you. Old Morgan. Yeah, old Morgan. We don't blame you either. That's a name you don't hear anymore. Quite like the name Morgan. Morgan, come along. Like, well, I wouldn't sound like that, but yeah. So you sound like a slave owner then. That wasn't no, appropriate, was no. it? <laughs> no, that would be Morton. No, Morgan. No, they won't have names. Two, four, five. Come on. No, come wouldn't. back into it your wouldn't. shit. It wouldn't, would it? That, let's be honest. It would just, it, it would just be. Hey, you nigger. That's what it would be. Yeah, all right, yeah. and that's not racist. That's contextually appropriate. All right. So that wouldn't stand up on that's a That's like reading ball. words in a museum. Yeah, that's like me, me. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> reading words in a museum. Or going into a guitar shop. Or how about reading a book? <laughs> no. No, we wouldn't. No, not books, the same, no. is it not? No, no one reads anymore, do they? No. Game of Thrones is good, isn't it? See it for all else. Really good. <laughs> really good. Really good. Enjoying it thoroughly. All 50 pages so of So What's so different to the books <laughs> uh, from any other book you've read before? Book well, news. Well, the books. Um, like, I mean, I saw three episodes. Well, if you read the books, the three. Books. I think it was two or three episodes now, of Game of Thrones, and uh, yeah, fifty pages in. Those three hours of <laughs> of film are relevant now because the books did it better. Just the descriptions. Hmm. I I mean, some characters, though I've like. Uh, no, no, Eddard Stark is just Sean Bean to me. He just fits perfectly yeah. as that character. Um, Most of the time they Tyrion are. Tyrion Lannister. The TV show did get it fairly spot on. Yeah. But I've got some stories for us today. Have you? We're going to move on from book news to more story news. Um, we, uh, I hit up Reddit. So are you ready for this one? Yeah. This is about Vin Diesel. And, hmm. and it's a gross story. I think you'll like it. You pull some good faces. Can I read it? No, I'll read it. But mum. But I. Mum. Multicultural. They are both products of American pop culture. Vin Diesel is biracial, and so is Dwayne Johnson. Vin in, Vin can act maybe, mm. but Dwayne has nothing going for him other than his personality, right? Yeah. And someone has uh, commented on this, this um, statement. No. Frank said, oh. I work at an upscale restaurant in Los Angeles oh. as a line cook. Oh. It's very it's very popular with C-level celebrities like Vin. Oh, He's a regular and Frank a D-bag to the staff. So oh, I've personally uh, uh, taken... Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, could you please clarify, what is a D-bag? A D-bag, it's a douchebag, sir. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. A douchebag. He's a regular douchebag to the staff. This is Vin Diesel, yes. Yes, this is Vin no Diesel. Relation Jackson. To, uh, mm, no relation to Jonathan Petchel, then. No, no, no. no, no I'm no. quite sorry, sir. That's not the same person. All right, carry on. He's a regular D bag to staff. Douchebag is. Yes. Good one. So I've personally taken the liberty of messing with his food. One time, I put some of my athlete foot shavings onto his sandwich. And I have toenails that look like they're made of wood because of my because my fungus is so bad. I actually use the kitchen shears to work at work to cut them. Shears. How gross is that? And this is in Vin Diesel's, supposedly is in Vin Diesel's food. Hmm. Put in wood toe shavings. <laughs> That's gross, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think? I would That's the whole story, is it? That's it. Someone put in their wood toe shavings. Just this description, okay? Right. All right, I just want to reiterate this last uh, line. One time, I put some of my athlete's foot shavings 
on his sandwich and I have toenails that look like they're made out of wood because the fungus is so bad. Oh my God. Well, if he's an asshole, serve him right. But get those feet sorted out. Definitely. Couldn't agree more. That's disgusting. Can you imagine that? I think you'll like this one, so you can read this one. Oh, good. Just that bit there. What are we doing for time? How are we oh. doing for time? 15 minutes. How's this for you? You're feeling a lot better now? You yeah, we'll be the... finished soon. Oh, Don't worry. You oh, don't yeah. have to listen to us Oh, my longer. attention span is really... Oh, you killed... You're ticking me on, ticking me on. I can feel I'm losing them now because I'm having a go at them. It's all oh, right. Go on. Come on go back. On, I'll read you a story. It's all right. It's story time. Sit down. Look, camp. Sorry. Don't worry. The vlogging videos will still be there for you. Okay? Here we go. My dad had a neighbour like her. Walker... D what? Okay. It must be okay, let, let me read the... Uh, Title. Dad took a shit yes. on neighbor's oh, yeah, sidewalk sorry. as revenge. You got to read, yeah, you got to read the title. It says, "Dad took a shit on neighbor's sidewalk as revenge." That's okay. what it says. Okay? The dad, not the dad's dog. So let's let's work out how he got to wit's end to the point where he was squeezing pebbles out of his bum onto the floor yeah. outside the neighbor's house. Okay, my dad had a neighbor like her, walk a dog around the cul-de-sac, and almost ninety-nine percent of the time, she wouldn't let it shit in his yard. Smiling and with she a would let good. It. Oh, she would let it shit in his yard. Sorry. What kind of cunt? Smiling and with a good morning. So this dog. Good morning. She's got. Yeah. It's just, so she goes. Oi! Oi! What are you doing there? Good morning. Good morning, me. I'm oh, morning anyway. star. You in the fucking head. My my dad went and grabbed his English mastiff. Walked old Brutus. That's a good name for a dog. Old Brutus. Old Brutus. To her front yard, where he took a massive shit right on a sidewalk. My dad looked at her and said, "Fucking sucks, doesn't it?" Never saw a dog shit in his yard again. So did old Brutus do it, or did he that, do it? Is old so Brutus misleading. the name for his asshole, perhaps? <laughs> and his asshole is nicknamed the English Mastiff because it's so hairy. That's my guess. But the title was like, it's, "Why do people do this?" On that, Reddit? It's clickbait. It's clickbait. Dad took a shit. I'm already running about this, mate. I've already got. You look at my fucking notes of real. Look, if you have a look, scroll over. I've got a whole two-page clickbait speech that I was gonna read on here, but I didn't. Do you wanna know why? Because cunt fucker has click on it, so we can't complain because mm. we're the ones clicking on it. It's ridiculous. Because it works. We, yeah. should, we should make really clickbaity thumbnails. Yeah, but what we should, no, and really clickbaity titles. So we'll call this one, um, uh, um, what should we call it? Dad took a shit on neighbor's sidewalk. Yeah, we'll call it that. Dad took a shit on neighbor's sidewalk. Question mark, exclamation mark. Forward slash birds of prey, upwards. Should we love. seriously do that? Call that, to call that, this video. Well, that. everyone who's listening right now, you're in on the joke, but I think that's not a bad idea, is it? And, and we'll, we'll do some really shitty vlogger thumbnails. Like, yeah. You know, really pose and exaggerative. And I guarantee or, we'll get over 3,000 views. Yeah, a minute as well. <laughs> It'll be really good. And we'll put tags in it like PewDiePie, Sakoni, Jolie. We'll put Zoella in the tags. We'll do all that shit. You just want, we'll skyrocket. And then when they come to us and go, we've noticed that you've been using other people's tags to claim fame. And I go, who oh, fucking is it? And it's great, isn't it? You can see us now and listen to us instead of those boring fucks. How does that sound? If you like it, go to www. Forward slash golden nugget gambling hall. You'll see our uh, video trending on the trending <clears throat> tab. Yes, just under Alfie Days. Auschwitz, Auschwitz Diary. Auschwitz. Pointless Fitch. blogger. Pointless blog it is oh, indeed. Yeah. Right, I've got, I haven't got much to talk about. But um, I, what I wanted to say was we did have a go at doing some video podcasts, didn't we? We and did. we fucking hated them. Mm. Dreadful. Awful. Get, you don't get the same quality content you get when it's just the audio yeah. with us. No. But uh, you will notice that our format for these... Excuse me. will change a little bit over the course of the next few weeks. We're thinking about adding some sort of visual to these podcasts. Not us, because... We, we do want to be able to sit here with our clothes off and still talk to you. Yeah, I mean, just wearing clothes, filming the, uh, the video podcast. It's uncomfortable, was, isn't it? I hated it. No, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. We had to feel, Way I, prefer the new... I felt really restricted and felt overly formal. I just think, oh, fuck that, I'm not doing that anymore. It's ridiculous. But yeah, no, I'm not surprised that a lot of these vloggers are so fucking fake all the time. It's because they're in front of a camera, they feel judged all the time. 
Whereas if I just talk like this to get comfortable with the microphone, a camera later on will not be an addition that is as threatening. And it certainly won't make us come across quite so, um, I don't know, what, what, what do you call it? But we were centering ourselves, weirdly. I'm I don't like it. I don't like it either. So we'll leave it at that. Yes. Hope you enjoyed this one. It was nice yeah. and short, wasn't it? Nice and short, yeah. So if you would like to see the, um, well, you won't respond to it, but we're gonna we're gonna be experimenting with. We'll, we'll put some gameplay on a podcast. Tell or your something. friends about this. Yeah. Do tell your friends. Have but, a great day. Have oh, a great night. Have oh, a great dinner. Got, have a great. Uh, oh, good luck on your oh, tests. Oh wait, don't go have yet. A good Easter. Don't go yet. What? Wait, hold on. I'll come over. I'm just. Hold on. Hold on. What? Hold on, mate. Hold on. Sorry caught you before you ended the podcast all right there's a tomb raider video coming out soon all right oh, yeah. it'll be it will be before this chronologically speaking think about that <laughs> we're up there it'll be, it'll be going up tonight what's what's the date today the 10th of april and this will go up probably tonight yeah. enjoy it yeah we'll see you later have a good one all right You've got to do it, you're sacrosanct. Oh, yeah, I've got to lean out again. Stop dragging it out.